everyone. My name is Brianna Flonk, and I'm a pest survey specialist for the USDA APHIS PPQ field operations. And my name is Emma Perez. I'm a plant health safeguarding specialist for the Citrus Health Response Program. And this video is part of a series of videos introducing you to the IFIS data collector application. I encourage you all to watch all of the training videos we have at least once to gain a broader understanding of the application as a whole, and then to use as reference for the future. In this video, we will cover workbook upload. Hey folks, Jenny Sauer here, popping in to let you know how you can follow along. You have two links in the description below. This one is the IFIS main webpage, which gives you the IFIS resources page, which leads to the Mobile Data Collection Tools website. So you could find it using the IFIS main landing page, the Mobile Data Collection Tools website. Also, the Mobile Data Collection Tools website is listed in the description below as a second useful URL. From here, go to the general training documents where you can see IFIS support listed, locate IFIS in the list, and open the IDC mobile application user guide. The directions for uploading a workbook into IFIS can be found on page 23 of the IDC mobile application user guide. After you collect field data in the IDC app, the data is only stored to your device and cannot be viewed by others until it has been uploaded. Once the data has been uploaded, it will need to be submitted by the data manager in order for the locations to repopulate in the app on your device. After data is uploaded, it can no longer be edited in the IDC app and will need to be edited in IFIS instead. The data goes through a QA QC process in the IFIS website before it is committed. For more information on editing and checking data, watch Emma's awesome video on QAQC. Now I'll show you how to upload your workbook in the IDC app on your device. If you have not signed into the IDC app within the last few minutes, it's a good idea to log out and sign back in before uploading your workbook since sometimes the app will look like you're still signed in, but it's already timed out. First, we're going to select the office which is Citrus Health, Texas. And the assignment is training assignment, and we're gonna confirm the download. And now you're on the workbook page. Even though this is where the page that you're going to upload your workbook from, uh, I highly recommend you follow Emma's best practices in the QA QEC video first and check over your data. If you open the workbook, you'll see a list of locations uh, with some of them highlighted yellow. The yellow highlighted locations are the ones that have not been uploaded into IFAS yet. Once uploaded, the locations will be highlighted green. As mentioned in the QAQC video, as a double check, you'll want to count the number of yellow highlighted locations to make sure all the locations there are the ones that you were planning on uploading. You can also edit the data at this point to double check for errors. Just be careful while editing. Once the data is uploaded into IFIS, you can make edits on the IFIS website until it is committed by the data manager and submitted, but this is the last opportunity you have to edit the data in the IDC app. So I know that I have three locations that I need to upload, and there's three locations highlighted in yellow, so I'm good to proceed with the upload. To get back to the workbook page, you're going to hit back in the upper left corner, and then you're going to drag your finger across the name of your workbook to the left. When you drag it to the left, you'll see a cloud icon generate with an upward arrow, and this is the symbol for upload. So now what you're going to do is click the cloud icon, and then you can see that you get a success message that the data and locations have been uploaded. If you do not see the confirmation message, or if it brings you to the sign-in screen again, you should be able to sign back in and then try to re-upload your data. You can view the data in IFIS by signing into the IFIS website and then make sure you're in the same office that you stored your data to. And then what you'll click is import data tab and then spreadsheet upload status page. And then you can see your different Excel files with all the data that was uploaded from the device. This will probably be the last 
step in your data entry and upload process. Uh, just keep in mind that the data will not be restored to the app on your device until the data has been committed in IFIS. So this is kind of a limbo where the data is not on the IDC app anymore, but it's also not completely on IFIS yet. It still has to be uh, double checked by the data manager and then submitted and committed through to the IFIS database. So right now, this is just a, a staging area where the data is examined and checked for corrections and then submitted to IFIS. And once it's submitted through, the data should repopulate onto your device. Now you should know how to upload your workbook to the IFIS database.